So these are some Punnett square practice problems. There's a couple terms I want to go over before we get started. So let's read the top right here. Um, a Punnett square helps scientists predict the possible genotypes and phenotypes of offsprings when they know the genotypes of the parents. The phenotype is the physical appearance of an organism. It's basically the way the organism works. That's the phenotype. The genotype, that's like the genes. It is the inherited combination of alleles. And so BB, big B, big B, big B, little b, that's going to be your genotype. And so we'll talk about those in just a little bit. But genotype, phenotype. <clears throat> Let's start off with a practice problem here. When I do practice problems, what I like to do is I like to highlight different parts and I like to write some things down so I kind of know what I'm doing, just like I kind of did with the osmosis practice problems. So in rabbits, we're going to have black fur, so big B is going to equal black is dominant to white fur, little b equals white. I always write these down so I kind of know. If I cross a big B, big B male with a big B, little b female, what are the possible genotypes, which are the letters right there, and phenotypes, that's the way they look. So what we do is we take that big B, big B, we're going to put them into our squares, so big B, big B up there, that's one parent. That could be the mom. And then we could have the dad down here, which is big B, little b. And then, just kind of like multiplication tables, what you do is you look at the, you bring the letters down, bring the letters down, big B, big B, bring the letters down, bring the letters down, 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 down. And what we see is we have a possibility of either having big B, big B, or big B, little b. Remember, big B, big B, big B, little b, little b, little b. Our big B, big B, and our little b, little b, those are both homozygous. So, Homo, and this is homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive. Our big B, little b, that's hetero or different, heterozygous. And so heterozygotes, they have um, a genotype that has two different letters right there. So if we look at our genotypes, that one right there, two big Bs is one possibility. And then we have big B, little b, which is our other possibility right there. Now we have two different phenotypes, but we, excuse me, genotypes, but we have two, uh, one type of phenotype because our dominant allele is present in both. And so there's a 50% chance of a big B, big B, and a 50% chance of a big B, little b, but a 100% chance of black fur. Let's move on to the next one. So in cabbage butterfly, white wings are dominant, and I'm not drawing my little w very tiny, so don't screw up here, to yellow wings. If a big w heterozygote, basically, right here, drop them down, drop them down, is crossed with a homozygous recessive, little w, little w, little w, little w, what are the possible genotypes and phenotypes of the offspring and the percent chance of each happening? So they've already conveniently put this in right here. We're going to try it now, or we're going to run the cross. That's what it's called. Big W, little w, little w, little w. I have two possible genotypes here, heterozygote and then homozygous recessive. So I'll put the heterozygote right there, and I'll put the little w, little w right there. Phenotype, so the dominant allele is present, white is present, that's going to be our phenotype. And our phenotype for our homozygous recessive is going to be, since there's no dominant allele, it's going to be yellow. Our chance of this happening is 50%, or a 1 in 2, or I could do this, I could say it was a 2 in 4 chance, which is equal to a 1 in 2 chance which is equal to 50%. And the same thing, two and four chance because there's two out of a total of four, which reduced down equals one divided by two, which also equals 50% chance. Now you have a couple more practice problems here. Uh, this one they give you, again, they give you the alleles right here. They give you the alleles right here. They kind of make it easy on you. This one though, you have to come up with um, your own alleles right there when you place them in. And same with this one right here. And this one right here, uh, on number three, sorry, there's an extra line that does not belong there, and it's pretty easy to figure out once you look at it too right there. So work on this sheet right here, and then when you're done with this, you'll be working on your SpongeBob one next.